Stevie, a 2-1 victory tonight here at Oakville View against Syngenta. How did you feel after that? Oh, I'm delighted with the win. Absolutely delighted with the win. They're a very, very good side. Um, I know they're a second division team, but they, they cope easily in our league. I mean, that's sort of been beaten narrowly by us and narrowly by Auckland Lake in the last few weeks. They're a good side. They moved the ball a bit well. They were physical in the right times. They were a good side. And I think our team stood up to the test. Certainly second half, I mean, we've turned the half time a goal down and looking kind of out of it. Uh, we didn't look like, like ourselves at all first half, but second half much more like ourselves. I think tonight our application and our win mentality got us through an end. Not necessarily our quality tonight, but certainly our application women win mentality was a different state for us. So I was pleased with that, really pleased with that. Uh, some really good individual performances as well. I thought Reese coming on the left back, playing for the first time for a long time, did really well. Uh, Andy Forbes as normal, gives you his usual 100%. Uh, then a wee special mention for Andy Mayer when he came on. This is his first game since the Lock Gelly game and he was absolutely tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. So yeah, I'm really happy and uh, Cammy Fraser. I mean, he gets a winning goal. He's run probably two two marathons tonight. He's run, but tonight he's been great. So I'm really pleased with some of the players. Was it important as well to get the equaliser off so early on in the second half? Yeah, it kind of sets the tone. Eh? Getting the equaliser early, early in the second half sets the tone that we're here to play now and we're here to appear for, uh, for business. And I think that was pretty clear to the other team. Uh, and we had a good bit, but we dominated for 20 25 minutes after that. Uh, and then they come back into it, then we get the second goal and then they try and push us for the equaliser. And you know what? They were close enough. They were close enough. They're a good side. Although I do think we should have a third goal. I think the boys handled it near enough on the line when Gregor's been set through at the end there. So, you know, it would have given a, a better reflection for us, but a poor reflection for them because their performance didn't deserve to get a 3 1 anyway, that's for sure. They're not a bad side and I think we showed we're quite a good side tonight as well. It's back to Luke Business on Saturday as we head to Roxburn. Uh, as indeed, uh, the games are coming thick and fast. I mean, I, I'm, I've got to say, midweek games are no my, my cup of tea. We've had, today we've had 14 players here tonight. We've got a squad, squad of 32. That's through injury and unavailability. It's hard. Midweek games are hard. Uh, and people look at the team line and go, oh, he's put a second string out. No, I put a team that I could put out for guys who are, one, available and fit. Because there was guys sitting on the bench there who, one was ill, and two were only fit who didn't come on the pitch. And the rest were injured as it is, not there. So we've got a squad of 22 and we had seven guys, eight guys who were on the here tonight to be able to play. So that was quite hard. Uh, but certainly Saturday comes, Broxburn should be in better shape in terms of numbers, uh, in terms of people are, are looking. So I'm hoping we can just carry on for tonight and get another one on Saturday. But it's going to be tough because Broxburn are on the good side as well. Thank you, Stephen.